What? Ice cream? Nice. What up, Blockhead? So, as you guys all know, I love ice cream. <laughs> I do love ice cream. I don't think if all of you guys knew that, though. But As all you guys know, I've been thinking about uh, trading my R6 because I've been interested in a different bike. And the reason I wanted to I actually kind of explain, there's a couple reasons I didn't like it. And those reasons were basically that the power band was, I mean, one of the main reasons was that the power band was all really high RPMs. Like you had to get it up to like 11,000 in order to start to feel torque. And in the application of it being like kind of more commuter, ish friendly uh it wasn't really commuter friendly because just all that power was like behind this locked door and in order to get to that locked door you had to hit that 11,000 rpm and then finally like whoa you had all the power and so it was a great bike you know if you were definitely riding more spiritedly but you know if i was just running up to chick-fil-a which you guys know i always do then uh <laughs> it was it was crazy like <laughs> going 90 miles an hour to chick-fil-a which is like a mile away yeah i mean awesome bike I, I really enjoyed it it was my first sport bike i learned a lot about like the the handling characteristics of it i learned a lot about you know how to uh i mean essentially ride a sport bike that a totally different machine you know especially as compared to a cruiser as compared to a dirt bike um uh, just just an amazing amazing really awesome bike so despite all that i did start looking for other stuff i did start looking at a lot of reviews of bikes and i was interested in a bike that had power more linear right so that the power wasn't like delivered to you in such like a, a spike the r6 like the power was basically delivered to you like this if it was on a graph versus i was looking for something a little more linear like this right just a little something more smooth a little something with that the smoother torque curve that still looked great that still handled well had a great lean angle and all that right as you guys know, I've been doing a ton of test rides. You know, this was one of the bikes I test rode, except it was the 114. I uh, test rode uh, the R6. I test rode the R1S. I test rode the new breakouts. I test rode the CVO breakouts. I've been test riding an absolute ton of bikes lately. Hell, I even test rode the trike. They've got a trike that's up here, so I even test rode that, which is totally awesome. It was a really fun bike. So yeah, the characteristics that I was looking for for my replacement for the R6 is I wanted it to have a linear power band, so more torque in the mid to higher RPMs because it's more usable, especially in traffic. I wanted it to have obviously a good lean angle. I wanted it to look great. It's one of the things that draws me to bikes. It's one of those things that draws all of us to bikes is the way it looks, right? A bike has to look good. You have to be attracted to what you ride. That attraction, I mean, you're able to just look at the bike and say, man, that's a good looking bike. Let's go for a ride. I don't have to explain that to you guys. Y'all know exactly what I mean. It's, <laughs> it's the reason that uh, there is function as well as form, and it's not just all function. Eric and I had this argument not too long ago. If it was all function, stuff wouldn't be designed to look aesthetically pleasing, you know? So you have to be, you have to be attracted to what you, uh, what you ride. You have to be pleased by it aesthetically. So I was definitely looking for that. Reliability, obviously another really big thing for me. I really like for my investments to be reliable. Um, there has to be a good amount of aftermarket options for them because you guys know me. I like to tinker and mod my bikes. So... There has to be a good aftermarket for them, or a good aftermarket market for them, is that right? And then they have to be, uh, I don't know, cheap to maintain, not cheap, but like easy to maintain. You know, I like to be able to do all my own stuff um, in terms of like oil changes or if something is like happening with the, uh, with the engine or the transmission, like I need to be able to find a mechanic if I can't fix it, that's not gonna charge me an arm and a leg and you know, like, that rules out Ducati, BMW, Aprilia, you know, stuff like that. Now, there were a couple bikes that met that criteria. A lot of people were saying, get a naked bike, get a naked bike. I'm like, eh, I'm not really attracted to naked bikes. You guys know what I'm talking about? Naked bikes just aren't attracted to me. That's, they're naked. They're meh. Yeah, stripped down. Granted, they are a lot of fun to ride. You know, I knew they do have that mid to high range power and torque, but uh, they're just not my cup of tea. So, based on all the research that I did, the test rides that I did, I finally decided on a bike, and that bike is the Honda CBR 1000 Double R. 
I really want to. I wish I could see y'all's reactions behind the screen whenever I turn around and freaking show this bike. <laughs> I mean, I pretty much told a bunch of you guys that I wanted to stay with the sport bike, and I did. I stayed with the sport bike. Um, I didn't want to go naked, like I said, just because uh, nakeds are cool. I mean, people love them, but they just don't have that classic sport bike look and feel to them to me. You've got to be, like I said, you got to be attracted to what you ride. And to me, this bike just looks sexy, man. I'm more of a minimalist, so I am going to be working with a local shop. Not the same shop that I did the last time. Thanks to Odin. <laughs> for bringing out the uh, the fat bob so i'm going to be working with a local shop we're going to be changing the fairings um and i'm probably going to be going with white and gold they do have a couple concepts that i'm working on right now going to be having the uh the front fairings wrapped and the tank wrapped and then basically kind of keeping like a streak of gold throughout it what i'm thinking is white and gold sport bike black and gold which is a low rider s so it is a 2015 honda cbr 1000 double r and uh, I bought it at Central Florida Power Sports. They really worked with me. I got an awesome deal on it. I had, surprisingly, a ton of positive equity built into my R6. And uh, they gave me quite a bit for my trade-in. They, oh man, like they pretty much threw the bike at me. Seems to be the recurring theme whenever I buy bikes, which is kind of awesome. Orlando Harley with the low rider S, man, they really worked with me on that, uh, buying that little rider s central florida power sports really worked with me on buying this thing <laughs> it gave me an awesome awesome deal and i mean it's got like motion tracking like i can sit here and like if i rock the bike it'll send me a text message that, like hey somebody's messing with your bike yep there it is alert motion detected cbr 1000 pretty much all the reasons that i just described uh, of me wanting a, a bike is why i went with the cbr 1000 it's got way more power in the mid-range which the r6 had all of its power in the high range height like the torque was all on the higher end so with this one it's a very gradual power delivery you know it's like just kind of like here you go here's the power and it's it's very predictable the ride height awesome you know the the, the seat height i can pretty i mean flat foot the bike which makes it way more controllable makes me way more confident whenever you know sitting on the bike and like backing up and maneuvering it while at a light and stuff like that i do have a video basically listing all the reasons that i went with the bike but uh <laughs> just to address the fact yes i did want you guys to think that i got the uh the fat bob i did not get the new fat bob it's a great bike i mean had i not bought the lowrider s and i was trading in my iron you know if i still had my iron and i traded that in i'd probably trade in for a fat bob it's a cool bike man i like it a lot handles great i mean i just i like my lowrider s it's it feels like a harley man i love that lowrider s so i'm not looking to get rid of that anytime soon you know it's a dyna so why, why would i get rid of a dyna <laughs> the last dyna at that the last most powerful dyna tons of you guys were saying that i was going to buy a fat bob so i just wanted to kind of mess around with you guys uh, i hope you guys can take a joke because i mean you guys know how this channel is i like to i like to play around i like to think uh well all the guys that i hang out with know that i have a good sense of humor and that i mess around and i joke around so that's why I wanted to sit here and I'm like, you know what, let's do a bike reveal where I'm just sitting here looking at the new Fat Bob. We were trying to figure out something to put over the 107 because they're like, everybody knows I wouldn't buy a 107. They know I'd buy a 114. Like, why would I buy the 107? Yeah, you know, it's like they don't, they actually have been selling out of them. So good job, Orlando Harley, for that. Yeah, sales, sales are going well, guys. Everybody's talking about Harley sales being blah and saying that they're pricing themselves out of the market. They can't even freaking hold on to the 114 Fat Bob. So, but anyways, that's a, that's an entirely different video. This video is going over the fact that I bought a CBR 1000 RR.
I know a lot of you guys are here for cruisers. I'm here for cruisers too. And uh, don't forget the message that I'm trying to preach on this channel, which is for the love of two wheels, you know? I love riding cruisers. I love riding the Fat Bob. I love riding my Dyna Lowrider S. I love to ride my Iron. But I also love riding sport bikes, man. These things are so much fun. And you can't even compare the two. I mean, the, the thing that these get, have in common is the fact that, you know, they function somewhat the same, but they're two totally separate machines, man. It's like, this is way more chill. You can still crank throttle and have a lot of fun on this thing, but this is an entirely different beast. It's tuned and built totally different, you know, totally different application versus this, you know, and I have love for both. I hope you guys can... Uh, stick around and continue to support the channel if you do i greatly appreciate it you guys know that i'm incredibly appreciative of all the support that i've received so far it's been just over a year since i started up youtube and man we're i think we just passed like 24,000 subscribers so to all of you guys to all you subscribers out there i greatly greatly appreciate the support for those of you guys that are uh, that are cruiser fanatics and love cruisers man so do i but uh, I've also got a place in my heart for other things, two wheels. You know, I do want to get a dual sport um, at some point and, uh, I mean, go, go off-roading. And, dude, I would love to have a Grom even. So, <laughs> I mean, at some point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and do a Grom. But, you know, the time will get there. Slowly growing, slowly expanding. And the reason we're doing that is because of you guys. So, thank you guys for the continued support. I greatly appreciate it. I do try to, like, how, how do I say this nicely? I do try to deliver quality content, but at the same time, I'm trying to stay true to myself. You know, I don't want to let everybody basically that's like a cruiser fanatic say, oh, you bought another sport bike, so uh, I'm hitting the unsubscribe button. Honestly, guys, if you feel like that at this point, you know, because I got another sport bike, <laughs> Or if you feel that you, you need to hit the unsubscribe button because I'm messing around because I'm talking about a, a fat bob here in the beginning and then I turn around and there's a freaking CBR 1000. It, like, if you can't appreciate that joke, everybody that I've talked to in person and I've told them that that's my idea for the reveal video, they freaking laugh. They're like, oh, bro, you're evil. I love it. You know, everybody's been been very supportive of it. And that's just my style of humor. You know, I like, I like messing around. I like playing. I'm very lighthearted. I don't take a lot of stuff too seriously, even though life gets heavy at some points, you know, I try to uh, take each day one day at a time and have fun in the process. And that's all we're doing here, you know, is uh, trying to have fun on two wheels. And the two wheels can be on a cruiser. The two wheels can be on a sport bike. Hell, man, we can even have fun on three wheels, which is one of the trikes, you know, because, dude, those things are a lot of fun. The freaking freewheeler. But yeah, man, it's just it's all in good fun. So. I know I'm probably going to hear some some of you guys say that I'm going to hit the unsubscribe button. If you if you feel that way over me buying a sport bike, if you feel that way over me purchasing something that I'm going to get a ton of enjoyment out of, then that's on you guys. Um, I'm trying not to let that negativity like impact my life. So if you feel that way, uh, I totally understand. You guys are more than welcome to to move along or you know watch whoever else you'd like. I do thank you guys for the support that you showed me while you were here uh, and if you decide to stay around hey i like i said i'm incredibly appreciative and uh, thank you guys for the continued support if you do choose to unsubscribe over me buying a cbr 1000 rr then i wish you guys well like i said thank you so much for the support you showed me while you were here and uh, ride safe out there and stay vigilant man I, I wish you guys well and if i see you on the road feel free to say hi say what's up throw me the deuces you know i'll definitely be doing the bike wave on the way by if we cross paths so i wish y'all nothing but the best anyways you guys let me know what y'all think i've got a couple videos coming up on the cbr 1000 rr about uh basically why i chose it the like first ride that i went on do the first ride that i went on <laughs> i didn't really have many words but uh also some cool plans some cool ideas just to just to kind of go over more about what i'm planning on doing with this like i said i'm gonna totally change the fairings we're gonna get rid of the red white and blue i'm gonna i'm wanting to go white and gold however i do have to keep it like this for a little bit because and this is a really really cool opportunity uh tst industries is uh sponsoring the bike so tst industries is a local uh, manufacturer of parts for sport bikes uh they are up north of orlando if you guys haven't seen or heard of them be sure to go check them out. I'll jump, drop the link right here. They're basically going to be helping me out with the build series. Build series, uh, 
use that term loosely because pretty much it's going to be me making how-to videos uh, using their parts, how to do installs. Ordered the frame sliders right off the bat, which they're actually waiting in the garage for me right now. So I'm probably going to be installing those later today. Uh, I also ordered um, bar ends, I ordered spools and fork sliders so that the bike is protected. Um, and then I also ordered a fender eliminator because we got to get rid of that gaudy thing, right? And uh, make the bike nice and sleek. We are going to be ordering oh, just so much more stuff, you know. <laughs> a lot of plans for this bike, so. I will do a final thoughts on the R6 video whenever I get the chance. That's so cool that they have the ice cream guy come by. <laughs> That's the latest, guys. New bike reveal, CBR 1000 R. I'm excited. It's a lot of fun to ride so far, and I really haven't even gotten to, like, really get on it yet. So can't wait for, like, a, a weekend ride or you know, going out into Sugarloaf and stuff like that here in Central Florida. It's going to be awesome. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well. Also hit that bell icon while you're over there so that it notifies you of any uploads or live streams or any of that stuff. It'll send you notifications whenever I throw up content. And uh, until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. And I'll catch y'all later. Oh, it's so quiet. I need an exhaust. <laughs> <laughs>